welcome back everyone so this is the last set I'm doing in the watch me work Christmas nail design week this is going to be a pretty set of pinks and whites using Madame Glam products daily charm transfer foil and glitter mix Canada products so I'm just going to get started from the beginning again and I already removed color checked for lifting so I'm just spraying the nails with some nail prep then I'm applying the young nails protein bond like I have in all the other videos by the cuticle on the natural nail once it dries I I will be applying fusion base coat this client uses hard gel so that will be the first product that I'll be applying as I've said in my other videos it's really important to do a thin coat of it and push it down it just stops the client from having as much lifting or any lifting for that matter So now I'll be taking my Fusion 2.5 Builder, doing the slip layer, and then adding another bead if need be to fill in that nail. And I'll just let you watch me do a couple of them and then we'll get to the filing. So now I'm just wiping with some isopropyl alcohol before filing to remove that inhibition layer and I'll just finish file them and then buff them so I'll let you watch me do that again. So now that I'm done finished filing, I'm just going to remove the dust off her nails. And the first product that I'll be using today is from Madame Glam. It's a beautiful glitter gel. I love this color. It's such a pretty pink. This one is called Who Is She? Madame Glam polishes are absolutely amazing for such great opaque coverage. So I will do two coats of this, but you will see with just one coat, the coverage is quite amazing. They're so known for having such great polishes. So if you've been watching my Instagram stories, I've been revealing the Madame Glam advent calendar for this year. And today I revealed some poly gels. Now Madame Glam has such nice poly gels. With their poly gels, they also carry dual forms, poly gel art brushes, and they are the best poly gels. I love using them. So 
So I will have my 30% off code down in the description for Madame Glam if you want to purchase any of these glitter gels or cream gels that I'll be using. Or you can use their VIP membership and you get 50% off of all your gels if you sign up for VIP and you'll enjoy dedicated sales and you'll also have early access to new arrivals before others do. So if you don't want to use my 30% off code, that is a great option. The next color I'll be using is a cream gel and their cream gels have amazing pigments. They're so opaque and this one is called Think Pink. So I'm just doing the middle finger with this and I'll do two coats but you can see with the first coat it really does cover well. So after this nail is cured, I'm going to be grabbing Glitter Mix Canada's Transfer Foil Gel. If you need a really good transfer foil gel, this is the one to buy. It is so good and it transfers everything so nicely. So I'll do a thin coat of this over this nail and I'll cure it for 40 seconds. Now the foil I'm using is from Daily Charm. It's a Christmas foil. It's so pretty. And if you want to see the whole nail art haul from Daily Charm, the video is in the top right hand corner. So like I said before, the gel is such a good transfer foil gel because you can see it's already lifting the foil up before I've even fully pushed it down, but you wanna make sure and rub it everywhere so nothing gets left. So I'm just going to show you the other hand as you saw on the other finger it said Merry Christmas this one says Happy New Year. So the next gel from Madame Glam is their Perfect White and it is the Perfect White. It's two coat coverage. So I'll do two coats on the last two nails of this and then I'll be doing some drawing, some Christmas drawing.
on the first nail I'll be drawing a Christmas tree so I'm using Madame Glam's Perfect Black. I'll put it on my palette and grab my detail brush and then I'm just going to hand draw a really simple Christmas tree and then I will also be doing some more to it a little bit later but I'll do more or less the outline of the Christmas tree first so I do have it in real time so it may seem a little slower than usual but I just wanted to show you how I draw it. So the glitter gel that I used on the other fingers I'm going to be using on this finger to make a Christmas bulb so I will draw the circle first and then I'll be stamping a really pretty bow on it. So for the bow, I'm going to use a silver from Beauty Big Bang in the stamping polish. I can put that link down in the description as well. So you can find the stamping polish. It's so pretty and shiny, this silver. So I'm going to stamp that bow on top of the circle that I drew. So I transferred a little more of the stamping plate, so I'm just going to take some acetone to get rid of that. And then I'm going to take a Madame Glam's Perfect Black and just draw a little line hanging from the ornament. Mm -hmm. 
So now with that same glitter gel again, the pink, I'm going to draw the garland on the tree. It's really pretty when it's covered up, it just sparkles a lot. So now I'm gonna cover it all up with my thicker top coat to make sure that she doesn't feel any of the drawings that I did in the glitter. And then when I get to the transfer foil nail, I'm going to file the edges. I just find by filing the edges, it stops the nail from chipping in any way from having the transfer foil on it. So I just have one more thing to do to these nails and that's to add a star to the top of the tree. So I'm taking some nail glue and I have a cute little star rhinestone that I'm gonna add. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna take uh, my Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat and I'm gonna cover up the star and I'm gonna do the whole nail of course and just make sure that that star stays on good for her for the three weeks she'll have these nails on. I hope you guys enjoyed my last Watch Me Work Christmas nail design. I think these were so pretty. I love the fact that they were pink and white instead of the traditional colors. Fun to do something different and thanks everybody for taking part in my watch me work week it's been a lot of fun and I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we'll see you guys all in the next one